Hi, I'm Joel Murphy, and I've crawled inside this computer today to talk to you about functionality of our pulse sensor. I'm wearing one of our prototypes on my earlobe right now, and it's connected to an Arduino board. The Arduino is reading in the sensor values and doing all of the computation to find the heartbeat and determine the heart rate. This red LED is blinking to my heartbeat right now, and in order to show you the raw data coming off of the sensor, I'm going to start up our visualization software. This is a processing sketch, and it's still in beta. Here in the main window, you can see a waveform that is the actual raw data coming off of the sensor. It's being graphed one to one. Over on the left are numbers that correspond to the peak and trough of the waveform with the amplitude in the middle. Up above is a heart that pulses with the heartbeat and a printout of the beats per minute. Beats per minute is calculated as an average every 10 heartbeats. The graph on the upper left is a representation of beats per minute over time. Again, all of this data is being generated by the Arduino and sent to the processing sketch, which is a simple data visualizer. We've gotten some great questions about the pulse sensor. A lot of you are asking if it can be worn during athletic activity or other rigorous exercise, and I wanted to show you with this pulse sensor attached to my earlobe that I can shake my head all around and the waveform remains stable. So yes, you can wear the pulse sensor to the heavy metal concert. Another great question that we've been getting asks where the pulse sensor can be worn or placed on the body to read a pulse. Our pulse sensor is an optical heart rate monitor, so it requires contact with capillary tissue. The earlobe and the fingertip are great places to find capillary tissue. We've done some experiments and tests and found some other places where you can use the optical heart rate sensor. In order to show you, I'm going to disconnect this sensor that's attached to an ear clip and connect a sensor that is unattached. <clears throat> we have reliably found heart rate data from the middle of the finger and also on the palm. The pulse sensor doesn't work as well on the wrist because there's not very much capillary tissue there. You can get some kind of a signal, but it's mostly noise. It does work very well on the forehead and on the lip. We're sure there are other places that you can find your pulse with our pulse sensor and we can't wait to hear your stories. Thanks so much for your support. Bye-bye.